Welcome to this edition of Photoshop Basics. I'm going to show you how to use actions in Photoshop. So I'm starting out with an image here and we have our actions panel open. And basically what an action is, is a function which basically records any process in Photoshop. And what it will allow you to do is automate a series of steps without having to do them manually uh, for several other images. You only have to do the action once, once created, then you'll be able to just use a simple single key stroke and it will apply that series of steps to a single image. So to get started you can push this play button over here in the control panel and you will get a pop out fly out menu with your actions. If you don't see that or you don't have that you can just come up here to window go to actions make sure that this is checked or you can additionally hit alt F9 so there you go you got your actions panel next step is I like to create my own set of actions Photoshop has its default actions built in which you can play around with but I'm gonna go ahead and create my own so I'm gonna go my actions go ahead and hit OK now I have my own little personal folder and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the new action button. It's just like creating a new layer but in this case we're creating a new action. So I'm gonna call this resize. In this example I'm just gonna show you how to use actions to resize an image which could then be applied to several other images or let's say a whole folder of images. Um, so I've called this resize. It's going to be in my set actions and in this scenario, I'm going to go ahead and choose a function key, F2. That's going to allow us just to hit one keystroke, and that will apply that action that we're recording to whatever image we choose using just the F2 key. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record. And you'll notice this little button down here has now highlighted and turned red. That means that everything that you do in Photoshop from this point forward will be recorded. Now, some of the, like anything like zooming or moving the mouse around, that kind of stuff, that's not being recorded. It's only recording the actual function that you apply to the image. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go image and I'm going to go image size. And in this box, you'll see that I have a 300 pixel per inch image. I'm going to change this to 72. And for the width, I'm going to go ahead and just knock this down to, let's say, 5. So now I have a 5 by 3 inch image at 72 dpi. Notice I didn't adjust the height. I only adjusted the width. Reason being is because Photoshop, I've, I really want it just to record that one action. And it's going to be linked with the aspect ratio because I've left the scale styles and con uh, constraint proportions on. We're going to leave those on for right now. Um, and I'm going to leave this at 5, this at 3, and this at 72, and go ahead and click OK. Now, you can see that my image has now been resized, just like I wanted it to be, right? So, now we're going to come over here and go back over to our actions, and go ahead and hit Stop. Now, if you roll this down, you'll notice that Photoshop just recorded everything that I did. It changed the width to 5 inches, just like I said it, the resolution to 72 pixels per inch, and then all those other checkboxes that were at the bottom have also been recorded, and those are in part of the action. So you can also see the function key is right here, F2. So now all I have to do is I'm going to undo this, And you'll see that my image is now large again like it originally was. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see it. And now the simple thing that all I have to do is on my keyboard, I'm going to go ahead and hit F2. And you'll see that that automatically resizes. So I didn't have to go back through those same exact steps again. All I had to do was hit the function key, which was F2. So imagine the possibilities if you had hundreds or thousands of images that you had to resize. Think about how much easier it would be to resize them all to the same height or width using just a simple Photoshop action. So that's really just the basics of it. The actions get a lot more uh, complex and can be very powerful. But again, this is just a basic video on how to use the actions and to get started. So I hope it was helpful. 
Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you next time.